Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It's the Brittany B. If you're new, that subscribe button right now. Also, the notification button. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. So we're doing another DIY video. I know it's been a minute since I've done it on my channel, but I'm gonna give you a second to go ahead and screenshot the things you need. So first I got this nightstand from Ikea. It's a um, Tarva nightstand. I got two of them. I had to put it together and they have other nightstands you can use or you can use it from the Salvation Army or you can get them from like one of those cheap stores like Roses or something like that, Matsway, something like that. And you can do this with any kind of nightstand as long as it got space for you to mirror. And this is how it looks all put together. So I got this mirror from Walmart. You're gonna end up needing two mirrors for each nightstand, depending on how big your nightstand is or how small. Now I ended up using like three because I kept messing up because cutting the mirror is so irritating. I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all now. But it's very, very doable. You don't have to be perfect. But anyway, the back of the mirror has like um, glue on it. So you tear it, start it from the back. I use my rat tooth comb and it has glue on it. That's why I'm using the blow dryer to loosen up the glue. So the, when the glue loosens up, you can see you'll be able to like lift it. See, like, look at that. You can lift it and it'll start loosening up and you'll peel that frame off. That way you'll have a whole entire mirror to yourself like that. Look at that, perfect. Before cutting your mirror, make sure you measure on the pieces you need. I just used a marker. I didn't use any um, measuring tape or anything. So this part a little bit irritating. You can watch a video on how to use the cutter. It's different types. So make sure you watch the video on pertaining to the type of uh, glass cutter you got but um that's why you need the pliers because it won't break off easily look at that so when it breaks that part at the bottom needs to be broken you'll need the pliers for that thousand years later six and a half hours later a few inches later day two day three day four a few moments later so i finally 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 decided one night to go outside and spray paint that spray paint is really, really good. You don't have to spray the parts that are not going to be shown, but the inside, I recommend spraying all the way because um, you might want to leave it plain. I put a mirror inside there, but if you don't have enough mirror, you can just keep the inside, just spray it gray. That looks really, really good, and that spray is really good. That's how it looks in the daytime. See what I mean? Love it. All right, so I'm about to get ready to um, glue the knob on. I'm just showing y'all how it looks, kind of foggy. Now remember this glue is brown. The E6000 glue is clear, so that's good. But this glue to me, to me is way stronger, but it's brown. So if any glue spills out on the outside, you can just use a, fi a fingertip. Or you could just use a cotton swab or a, um, what you call it, a, a Q-tip and use some acetone to get all the excess glue off. So go ahead and just glue your mirror down like so like that and y'all see that back space left i'm gonna cut some more mirror up and just add it like that it's not gonna be even but it don't matter because my lamp is gonna be on there so i'm put my lamp which is also mirror on top and you won't even see the difference so yeah see that it's messy it's not even that cute like that but you never gonna know when you see it all together it's gonna come out good trust me sis now take some more of that glue and put it on a knob like i said it might spill over a little bit just take you with cotton swab and get it off with some acetone and it'll be just fine put it in the middle you can measure if you want to but i didn't and it might be a little crooked but whatever it's still gonna look really good i got those from tj maxx i believe amazon has some for like ten dollars soup they kept breaking and here's the finished look look at that y'all it looks gorgeous and look at my mirror um lamps i got from um ross but that's the finished look i hope you guys enjoy it make sure you subscribe i love y'all